everybody, it's Laura. I um, wanted to share another writing opportunity that y'all could hopefully incorporate into your students' um, everyday schedule. I've seen a lot of postings about the importance of schedules and um, challenges adhering to those. So this one, again, should be a, an easy one to implement and ideally kids can pretty much so go on to autopilot and parents can hopefully get maybe 20 to 30 minutes of uh, uninterrupted time to do whatever they might need to do. So this concept is called a sit spot. Um, ideally, you are immersed in nature, sitting in a spot in, in a forest, in a field, underneath a tree in your backyard, um, whatever's available to you. Um, I'm here on my stoop, my sit spot, so I'm anticipating this might be uh, the best I can do here in the coming weeks. So I can take a look at the nature around me And while it might be limited, uh, the idea is that I just take about 20 minutes and sit um, almost in a meditative state and just take everything in that's around me. So today I'm gonna focus on the sky. Um, just maybe sit here. Uh, uh, students probably not gonna be able to do 20 minutes their first go round, but you can add on time as they build up um, you know, some endurance um, and really just take it in. So setting a timer for them really isn't necessary. It's, it's like however long they need um, and however long they are capable of sitting in one specific spot, um, that's great. That's just the, your point of entry there. So after I sit out here for 20 minutes, um, I can go back inside since it's raining outside. Um, if it's a nice day, maybe I could take that opportunity to continue the process um, outdoors as well. So I created a really simple journal, just folding some paper. I don't even have a stapler here, so I had to um, make do with what I had. Um, and, and basically just created a journal about my specific sit spot. So I dated it and just said, today I saw fairly heavy rains falling from gray skies. There were lots of clouds low to the ground. The air smelled fresh and clean with some spring scents. And today I feel a little sad that we aren't gonna be able to go to the park. Um, so I'm just including my observations, maybe how I'm feeling. Um, if, if your student's not a writer yet, they can certainly draw pictures of what they see. And the idea is they're building up um, just their ability to have attention to details and what they notice um, about the outside world, what they see in nature, what they're experiencing, as well as their emotional um, state of being as well. So again, it's akin to meditation, um, really just sitting outside, um, whatever's available to you, making do with the best that you have. Um, works for all ages, certainly works for adults as well, just to kind of decompress and get yourself out of whatever situation um, you find yourself in these days, which, you know, first to admit can be somewhat stressful. Um, the idea is to be in the same spot every day so you can notice those small changes and, uh, and build your own ability to perceive them. Um, and then I added a journal and a drawing prompt to it after I had my time outside, but certainly just sitting outside is its own activity. Um, good for descriptive writing and noticing parts of a whole. Um, and again, 20 minutes is great. That's something to shoot for, but you might need to start a little bit smaller. Um, later in the week, Jesse is gonna be posting some other journal prompt ideas, so you can look forward to seeing them. I hope everyone's having a great time and uh, look forward to seeing y'all soon. Bye.